at, when it was first talked about, obviously, I thought to myself, you know, this is this is the guy who I used to watch a lot, um, cut, almost idolise. But um, as I think as it's gone on, I'm looking at him. Obviously, he's, he's a threat. He's my opponent. He's um, he's trying to take away everything that I want. So now I'm solely focusing on basically finishing, ending his career. Do you think, I mean, most people remember in Shaka Tito from the last loss to run the side there. What are you kind of preparing for? Which version of him are you getting ready for? I'm preparing for the, for the Chocolatito that beat Quadras. Um, I've got to go, go by his last big performance and that was that. Was that. I thought he beat wrong side in the first fight. He never got a decision, but then the second one he got wiped clean out. So um, I'm expecting to make his best. Now, when you say you're preparing for that Chocolatito, that version of Chocolatito was unbeatable. So how do you beat that version of Chocolatito? Um, use use my use my attributes, use my speed, my technical ability, and use my physical strength and um, and the power that I haven't shown in my last couple of fights because of the opponents. In that fight, I was just completely off my game. I was completely flat. Had a few weight issues. Um, I had a horrendous time. I never, I, I never slept the whole night. I slept about an hour. Um, was it a time change? No, no, no. It was just we we switched a few things up, weight making, and and it didn't work for me. Um, and I spent a lot of time having to lose a lot of weight, and um, I couldn't feel my I couldn't feel my legs after four or five rounds. So it was more of a weight issue rather than just yeah, and flatness happen. and flatness. I was just completely flat, um, but I just done what I had to do and got through the fight. What did you tweet to Eddie if you do feel better going into this one? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. And my last fight, I, I had no weight issues with that with that either, so I was I was perfectly fine. Normal camp for you then for this? Um, it's been a happier camp because I'm 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 buzzing about the fight. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited. I've been excited since since the fight got done. Um, it's just a complete different vibe. Everybody around me has noticed a completely different version of me mm -hmm. because I'm you know I'm excited. I'm excited to go to the gym every day. I'm excited to um, to sh I get this. I'm on the platform now. I'm on, I'm fighting one of the biggest names in the lower divisions and. I get to show the world that what I'm capable of doing instead of fighting mandatory who shouldn't really be in the ring with me and just in there to survive. Do you think that's kind of been an issue? Or like, not, not that you were motivated, but clearly you're more motivated against a guy like no, I wasn't you know, I think the fans are. I, too, I wasn't really motivated though, that's no, the thing. Okay. I'm just, I'm that kind of guy, I need, I need to have a threat in front of me. I need to have that bit of fear. Um, like when I won the world title, I was an underdog in that fight as well, fighting a two weight world champion and I took, completely took him to school. And that's what I need. I need pressure because um, I thrive off that pressure, and uh, and uh, and I find it a privilege to have that pr pressure because not many people get to feel it. Is there a type of fight with him that you want to avoid? Like, do you not want to get into a slugfest with him? I mean, what kind of fight do you not? No, want? no. no. I'll, I'll I'll do what how I feel when I'm getting there, um, but I can box. People have seen me box on the back foot and counter well, and um, I can fight as I've shown. When I, when I first made my US debut on ESPN, um, I had a slugfest there and I, show, I showed I could fight. And um, I've got to use my attributes, my speed, my technical ability, also my physical strength, which goes unnoticed. And I'm a big guy in there, and I'll be a lot bigger on the night. Cal, how do you overcome um, the negative press and criticism? And it's got to be tough. To be motivated, like you said, be a completely different person walking into the ring when the press is like ripping you apart. That doesn't really bother me. I'm not one of them guys. I don't take notice of what people think or what people say. I'm in there to do what I want. What I want to do. I'm there. For, I'm there for myself to be the best that I can be. That's all. That's what I want to achieve out of boxing. Be the best I can be and secure myself and my family's future. And um, and that's what I'm doing right now. So the people that want to slag me off. Do you feel this would be the challenge that would hush everybody? Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. 
most definitely. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And that's why I'm buzzing about it. But at the same time, I know that if I go out there and I absolutely demolish Chocolatito inside three, four rounds or win on points or whatever, people, are still, people just go, oh, he was washed. I know that. But it don't bother me. My bank balance is going to be lovely. And I've got, a, I've got a Hall of Famer on my record. And I'll move on to a massive unification, so I don't give a shit. <laughs>